All right, guys, we're getting ready to head over to Mocan Power Equipment in Spring Hill, Kansas. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go look at some new mowers today. We're going to go look at the Toro Grandstand, the Gravely, um, see what they're all about. And uh, we're going to take the Skag because the deck you're is. Get to see. I don't know if you've seen it here. This is where I steal the show. Okay. Something else you might not have seen is the uh, My Ride system on the sit downs for the Toro. You seen those? The whole thing is suspension, not just the seat. The platform you stand on, so you're like in a freaking rocking chair the whole time you're on this riding mower. They got a couple up there. We'll check I don't them need out. to sit down though. I don't either, but God, do I feel lazy when I'm on it. It yeah, feels great. True. So the first thing Andy notices when we get here and I start telling him my deck is unlevel again is that one side's different than the other. Yeah, one side's way off. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or not. It's just something I noticed from looking at it. But if you push this, Pushing it over makes it true. That's straight with the with the mower. How it sits is off. I measured this gap between here, which was about a little less than half an inch, and on the other side it was about an inch and a quarter. Right. Now see, here's the reason I'm wondering if it should be pushed over like this. Is because my belt has a lot of play in it. And if you move this deck over that way, it puts more tension on that belt so it wouldn't slip as much, which could be what has been happening this whole freaking time with my mower. It's possible. So we're going to find out. See, what do you think? What do you think's wrong with it? A lot of You think the water, the water's probably what's wrong with it. The water? It's gotta be. The water's what's wrong with it? I mean, two-year-olds are smart. They are. Oh, hmm? water. That water. That's what, yeah, that's what it is. All right, well. So we're gonna find out guys and we're gonna let you know exactly what's going on and why this deck keeps coming unlevel. But I got a feeling this could be my issue this whole time and nobody has ever thought of it. Not even me. And then you get cut and clean over here and ta-da, he's- See, cause cut and clean thinks outside that bun, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a pizza, I'm a pizza guy. man everybody's been talking about them them toros yeah um, how good they are you know I, I don't know I standing on that hustler I'm right over the wheels I'm not back behind the wheels like the Toro would be just like my skag see my thing with any of the mowers I've used where I'm standing over top of the wheels is it's harder to get under shit it is harder to get under things but you have more stability you do have a lot more I feel more comfortable taking hills on when I'm standing right. directly over the wheels but. yeah so I don't know if there's pros and cons, just like everything else in the world. Well, right, you know, and then it's like mm, the Hustler Super S. Dude, I fell in love with that son of a gun. I'm not gonna lie, but I've been doing a lot of reviews, and everybody says they go through gas like crazy. That they got like a 7.7 .7 gallon tank on them, and they make it through like half a day on that. Really? Yeah. I don't like one guy like I mentioned, he does like four acres, and it's completely gone. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So. so guys, we stopped by Casey's really quick to get some gas on the truck on the way out there. And it is just a torrential downpour right now. And I'm starving, so we're gonna go somewhere. I was just gonna run into Casey's, but then it started raining really bad and again. I don't feel like getting wet. I'll be honest with you, I don't. So we might just run through a drive-thru somewhere. So, in personal opinion, do you think this is like a great day to be testing mowers out? Sure, I think it's a good day. I mean, We're gonna see how it cuts in the rain. Yeah, you're gonna be able to see how it cuts wet grass. If it cuts wet grass good, then it's gotta cut dry grass good. <laughs> it's got to. There's no way it can't.
the new ones have, you know, so you, like you were talking about, this is what you would like, Andy. You can use either one. Really? Yeah. Side, this design on the side of it. <laughs> um, one thing I don't like about this is you can take, you gotta find the right spot. You know, it's like unlocking a door. You gotta find the right combination. But other than that, it's not that bad of a deal. And it's not like getting off changing spacers out and that kind of stuff. So. Well, that's not bad. That's really easy to flip, too. Yeah. It's. They have totally that. revamped the, the, that's, the grandstand. I like the small handles. I like the small handles. But it really don't bother me to have the big handles. See, that's what I hate about the Skag most is, is everything's so compact and you're stuck up here. You have no right. side range or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, this is... This feels nice. Oh. So it's just got rubber. Yeah. It's 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 basically like the Gravely. It's got just the rubber bushings, but we also have the isolators on the platform, too. On this platform. So you I'm telling you, dude, like, it, they, I don't think they stripe the best, but the features it comes with to make my life easier is killer. Yeah. Like, that's just so easy. Exactly. I wish I don't have to get off my mower, pull the pin. Check this out, guys. What year is this, Andy? What year do you think this is, guys? Come on. Come on. Something to look at. I need you to comment. What year is this? He's got a better one here too, unless he moved it. 25 horse Cowie. Right, right, right. About that top notch lawn care. Walker with like a 12 inch cut. <laughs> Baby Walker, dude. It's got the rear discharge catch on it. That thing is so tiny. It's all right to be itty bitty. This guy's we'll get an Arians. Yeah, what y'all know about that? We we'll get a Toro. This is the brake. Yeah, that's the brake. Danny, go. <laughs> it's backwards from the brake. The brake is so weird. It is. Oh, he's got a skag, so I shouldn't have been that Well, guys, I don't know, man. Andy has talked me into some stuff. I don't know what's going on. We'll show you in a minute what's happening here. What's going on? I'm going to go in here and get my driver's license back. Then. Yeah, man's trimmer. Yeah. This would have to be moved back soon. So it would be, well, I don't know, maybe not. I feel like I have to bend down. You know what you mean? I have to bend down. And I'm short. I don't know. Well, it's definitely a longer swath than any of the ones I've had straight out of the box with a It really does. It. Yeah, it looks like it is. But I don't know. It may not be. I own these. So I can tell somebody to take them. We got the Tonica 24cc, 24cc all aluminum. 
All aluminum, right? Just the housing. Just the housing is aluminum. Yeah. So, in case that blood shaft comes apart, it's not going to go through your hand. Uh, I'm going to start it up. Oh god, just smoking. That's a spark around there. Like I said, after a whole day of running it, I'll run this like... I like that guard though. All right guys, we're gonna show you what we're taking home to demo for uh, a week or so. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try to get a Toro grandstand, try to demo it. I know what the Hustler mows like. I have mowed with one. So we're gonna take one of these brand new Gravelys home and uh, see what it's about. See what it's about. I like some of the features of it. I'll go over some things I like, some things I don't like before I uh, bring it back. But this is what we got right now. Fix to take the skag, drop it off at the dealership I bought it from, have them fix this thing, mess with the deck. I don't know. Somebody said the bushings are out, so we're going to get them fixed. Uh, so yeah, so now it's fun time trip home. So let's get going. What's going on guys? So we got the uh, Gravely Pro Stance 48 on a demo. He's going to try it out before he buys it out, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we just stopped at a random uh, Casey's General Store out here in Kansas somewhere. And we got this little spot over here. It looks like part of an apartment complex or something. And Danny wants to mow it. So we're just <laughs> we're randomly gonna mow this spot that nobody's getting paid for and it's not even our property. It's nice grass for one. And I wanna see the striping capabilities of the grape. He's just itching, man. He's gotta see what it does. Cause out there a mow can, they got a lot of uh, like K31 type stuff, thicker grass, like field grass. So we'll see what it does. weird I mean the cut quality is there it's definitely got the cut quality but when it comes to the stripes I don't see it I mean you gotta think man you could have pulled the skag out and ran over that with no mowing not even turning the blades on and it would have laid that stuff over yes yeah, skags skags definitely are one of the best striping standards you're gonna buy right but it never makes it the best well right but I mean, I'm gonna need something that stripes better than that. Right, because you're just like me, you want the stripes. Right, and this just ain't gonna do it. I mean, I, I don't wanna have to go over a property two or three times to get a stripe to lay down in it. So I'm thinking about just calling him back, taking this back and saying, hey, 
go ahead and call the Toro guy, see if we can't go ahead and take the Toro home since we're still in the area. Let me see what he says. And see, you know. Disappointing. The cut I like. That should have laid a stripe real nice. If it was going to stripe, Where's especially. Where's your cloth at? Uh, in the thing. Well, I had it on the skag, but it ain't messing this up. Um, I don't know what it is, man. I like the cut. The cut's nice. But the strapping capability is not there at all. So the X Factor deck, definitely a no-go for me right now. Well, let's I mean, give him a call. That's why I said, uh, you know, that's why I wanted to try it here because that's nice grass and it should stripe nice. And especially as tall as I cut it, you know, three and a half inches, that should have laid a stripe. You went up to four on one side, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And it still didn't. So yeah, let's call him and see what he said. Well guys, how this pretty much ended was we did get in touch with them. We took the Gravely back, dropped it off, grabbed the Toro 52 inch demo and started using it. That's where you get the Toro videos from. So I really did like the Toro, as you can tell from the videos. I like the controls of it. It seems like everything was positioned right where I would want it if I was to make one of these mowers. So it really worked for me. I really did like the cut quality of it. Um, I've got some videos coming out of it striping. So it did do what I wanted it to do. And you've seen the comparison between it and the Skag. Some people liked it, some people didn't. So that's how that pretty much ended. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I've got some more surprises coming real soon for you. So stay tuned, keep watching.